Howdy neighbor. Welcome back to Hammer and Saw Customs right here on the Big Island of Hawaii. If this is your first time, I'm Brother Bill and I'm going to be your master flooring installer today. Nope, not even close. Still jack of all trades, master of some, one. Well, whether that boat comes in or not, we're going to jump right into our deck installation, which is part two of our reclaimed pallet wood wood shop uh, that we're building or well I'm building with you guys watching hopefully it'll inspire you to also get out there and uh, build you a shop or use some wood in a project around the house especially pallet wood since it's available doesn't cost you much except a little time maybe a couple saw blades things of that nature so in today's episode i'm going to be installing the pallet wood decking on the other part one video we cleared out the area we put down the blocks we put down our scrap wood to level everything out we installed our six foot by three and a half foot uh two by four pallets as our substructure so today we're putting in the decking I've already nailed down one strip on each end to keep our floor somewhat uh, in line. I mean, we are using pallet wood. There's some beautiful imperfections and uh, we're gonna use it just like it is. So come on back after the intro and uh, we'll get started and uh, we'll have fun. happen to all those reruns of the show the fall guy with Lee Majors Man, just nobody reruns those anymore oh well hey neighbor you're back already well glad you're back so this may take a little bit so come on in uh, rest your hands and face grab you something cold to drink this is gonna be a good warm day so brother Bill's uh, as you guys know, choice of drink is uh, some sweet tea with some NASCAR additive, and we may drain this whole thing today uh, working on this deck. So let's get started. Ooh, smooth as always. So we'll put that right there. Now, before the intro, I did say nail. Yeah, I did say nail, and the old brain cells were working the other day. And, the, and that little voice in the back of the brain there was uh, talking to me. And in the last video, part one, I did mention uh, using screws. But I started thinking, we're building this on a budget. And I want to show you what you can do with very little money out of pocket. So when I was tearing down the pallets, I started saving the pallet nails. So we could use it to nail down our decking. A. It's going to add a lot of character and B, these are all those pallet nails and these things are pretty rough to get out. I mean, they're, they've got a little spiral cut on the nail. So if they can hold those pallets together that well, they ought to be able to hold down our little deck here that we're putting in for our shop. So we're going to be pounding all those in. And I know I said, Ooh, that's not usually my style with my age, but, um, we're gonna do it, or I'm gonna do it for you guys. We'll save those screws for maybe some of our framing that we really want. We want to hold that stuff together and keep that cost down. Because have you seen the price of screws at the old box store? Whew. Take out a loan just to drive down there. So we are gonna do some nailing today. I'm gonna to show you how I've been laying down these uh, planks from the pallet uh, pallets and how I trimmed them up and spaced the seams. So hopefully not all the seams are lining right up on top of each other. We'll kind of space that out. And then I'll get started on nailing and then we'll speed that up a little bit and then I'll kind of meet you on the other side of that. So you're not just uh, listening to this hammer go all day and drive you crazy and you get bored and wander off over into the kitchen and start making a sandwich, which is fine, but you know, 
I'm gonna keep you over here, watch what we're doing, maybe get you inspired. So I'm gonna get started. Nail down these couple of rows here, and then uh, we'll jump on out. Got any questions? What's that? Ah, I can't hear you anyway, so get those old flanges out. Click clack on the old computer down there. Shoot me some comments, questions. Also, uh, you know, we've got that little uh, subscribe button down there if you're watching here on the YouTube. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. That bell lets me know to let you know there's a new video out. Greatly appreciate you guys watching and I want you to be part of the show. Also, if you're on the old Facebook, same thing. There's a like, comment, share. If you guys don't mind to, you know, shoot those out to some friends, make some comments, give me a couple likes. That's awesome too. Helps me keep this going to bring it all this beautiful information to you. <laughs> so without any further blah 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 and all that, we'll get started. So that to me tools needed today but we will do our safety steve coverage of the show so it's always nice to have some glasses you know you're hammering there's there could be some wood or nail or anything like that flying around and i'm going to put on the old glove elators today to protect the phalanges just in case i happen to smack a few of these i already suffer from fat finger uh or uh obese phalange syndrome which is fat finger syndrome and you don't want to cause that to be any worse than it is. You might want some knee pads, but the old uh, overalls have some uh, extra material on the knees, so we're going to let that slide. A good old hammer. You could use a possibly a finishing hammer. I don't know. I'm not much on that, but I've got an old uh, framing hammer that I'd love to use. may not be the perfect tool for the job, but it seems to fit what I use it for. So let's get started. So what I've got here is I've already got these boards cut, spaced, laid out to they'll bridge all our subfloor. So let's get started nailing this stuff down. And these are good old rusty reclaimed nails from the pallets that you see here. So um, just to try to save on some money. Now we got an old one that already started to bend on us. No worries with that. A couple of these, you just gotta give them a little persuasion. And try again. And we've got a stubborn one. So we'll have to retire him, no worries. We've got tons of nails. And I think we hit a knot there, so no, no problem. So we're just gonna keep on working down the line. I'm gonna skip some of these. On some of these, I'm just gonna use a, uh, a cross, just two nails per board. tricky to drive in you know they've been beat, beat up bent up but we're gonna do just fine So that's how we're going to proceed and i'm pretty sure that you guys get the uh the gist so i think we're going to shift this into gear 
I'm going to go ahead and just start nailing the heck, of, uh, the heck of on these things or going to town. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> going to town on nailing these down. So with that, we'll throw in a little music, speed it up for you so you can see the end product. And I will meet you on the other side. Well, folks looks like this is taking longer than i expected so we'll have a little intermission i'll get the rest of this nailed down and i'll show you the finished product once this is all wrapped up so stay tuned stay online and uh we'll get right back to it I believe that was it. Was that it? Woohoo! That is the last nail there, neighbor. And boy, I tell you what, that was quite the workout. So, what we've got here is that uh, we've got all our decking boards nailed down. And we used every bit of our recycled nails from our pallets, which feel good about that. 
but it only got about 85% of the boards nailed down. Hey, I'll take it because uh, old brother Bill, being a hoarder, I mean, uh, caretaker of used materials. Now, you're not buying that? Little missus doesn't buy it either. She says, you're a bona fide hoarder. So, I, I'm brother Bill and I'm a hoarder. You might be a hoarder too, but that's all right because when you hoard things, you get to build stuff like this. So I did have some uh, two and a half inch, three inch galvanized nails left over uh, that actually were given to me. So that's like recycling, right? Well, I'm gonna take it as a win. So we used the rest of those to finish it up. Uh, I think I wore out my uh, framing hammer. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, also wore out of pair of gloves <laughs> that was quite a bit of nailing so other than that that's going to do it for part two of the uh pallet wood uh workshop next uh maybe part three i think what we're on of part 20 or more we'll lay down some uh protective coating on the wood just to preserve it a from bugs critters and uh any moisture because you know it might be sunny today but you guys remember the other day when it was raining you know we did that beach day we do tend to get the monsoons it seems like so we'll want to take care of that maybe in part three after we coat we might even start on some framing so i'll uh, be showing you how to put together some of the runners from the pallets to make some studs and uh, then we'll work on our rafters or we might work on our rafters get those all laid out since we got this nice unobstructed floor area that we get our overhangs right and then we'll do framing either way we'll work on it together sun's getting low i think uh mama's got dinner on the stove hey boy i am whooped and uh i'm glad you guys challenged me to do it this way that way I can show you it can be done. Maybe you don't have to go at it so fast and hard like I did. Maybe you spend a couple weekends if you're just doing this when you have time. There's no race, there's no rush. Uh, I'm just kind of wanting to move along so I can show you guys the finished product. Maybe spark a little, get off that couch, get outside, enjoy the sunshine. I know some of you, it might be cold where you're at, but you know, at least you can be stockpiling your materials. So when, uh, you know, spring comes or summer comes you can head outdoors so if you guys got any questions let me know and that's going to about do it this time i should appreciate you stopping by as always i appreciate each and every one of you uh, that watched the show thank you so much i appreciate that your comments and uh both on youtube and on facebook so with that Let's remember our veterans, past and present. Let's always remember our first responders. They've got a battle going on, it seems like, every day trying to help us out out there. You know, EMTs and all those folks out there. So let's kind of stay out of the way if we can. Also, uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, all the, the cool ideas that some of you folks have been just, you know, mes messaging me directly. That's awesome, too. That's perfect. Um, other than that, that's going to do it for me because I am so tired. I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping by Hammer and Saw Customs with old brother Bill. You guys have a good rest of your uh, day and aloha and take care. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, after running through about three of these, I actually had to switch over to water. I think I drank about 20 gallons of water today because it was hot. And boy, yuck, water. Whew. How do you guys stand to drink that stuff? Oh, well, we need to wash that water out of our, our dry throats for the end of the day. Woo, smooth. Oh, that's so much better than water. But all seriously, in this built, folks, Remember to stay hydrated when you're doing work like this, especially if you're even in a cloudy uh, spot or full sun. 
maybe get you some shade but uh i don't want you getting hurt out there so just a little safety tip from uh, safety steve uh, remember to stay hydrated when you're doing things like this it'll go a whole, a whole lot smoother you won't get those muscle cramps won't seem as tired and uh you know i just i don't want you guys getting in get in trouble with the missus when you go flop down on the couch and she's got that honeydew list and you say i'm tired <laughs> all right well that'll do it for me for sure you guys have a good one and aloha